Now today, we're gonna show you innovation across the Surface product line. Now from the beginning, Surface has always been a stage for software and hardware to come together. We're gonna challenge convention yet again. Introducing you to eight new devices and accessories that are all built hand in hand with Windows 11. We'll also show you what's next for our dual screen devices and apps with Surface Duo 2. I'd like to introduce the ultimate two-in-one, Surface Pro 8. This is Surface Pro 8, purpose-built for Windows 11. This device combines the power of a laptop with the flexibility of a tablet and every angle in between. Built on the Intel Evo platform with quad-core 11th gen Intel processing and an innovative thermal design, delivering over 43% more compute power and 75% faster graphics than Surface Pro 7. And we're bringing up to 32 gigs of RAM and high-speed Thunderbolt 4 connectivity. Studio microphones and a front-facing camera not on the side, but center, right where it should be. I wanna to talk to you about this beautiful high resolution, 13 inch pixel sense display with super thin bezels and over five and a half million pixels, Dolby Vision, 120 Hertz refresh rate. And for the first time, we're bringing adaptive color technology, which naturally adjusts to the color temperature and lighting of your environment. And it really shines with cloud gaming on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. We're excited to announce Surface Slim Pen 2. With magnetic storage and charging, your pen is always with you. And when you pick up your pen, Windows 11 brings up a customizable pen menu that gets you inking and into your flow quickly. Another big part of our product development includes custom silicon, a processor we call Microsoft G6. When your pen hits the canvas, the G6 processor and Windows 11 come to life. And for the first time with digital ink, there's tiny mechanical vibrations that mimic the feel of pen on paper sending tactile signals through the touch receptors in your fingertips. And for those of you who love Pro X, developers have been optimizing the app specifically for ARM. 64-bit emulation is built in, so the apps you need are ready for you. I want to introduce you to Surface Go 3. This is our fastest, most capable Go yet. With 10th gen Intel processing, Surface Go is 60% faster than before. On behalf of the team, I'm delighted to announce the Microsoft Ocean Plastic Mouse. The shell of the mouse is made up of 20% recycled ocean plastic. The box is 100% recyclable, and we make it easy to ship back an old mouse for recycling through our mailback program. I was born with cerebral palsy, and I use a power wheelchair. When I was born in 1971, my parents were told, Dave may not live past the age of 12. Dave may never be able to speak clearly, if at all. And even if he does, don't expect much because there's not much that someone with Dave's condition can do to have a full life. I decided to pivot my career and join Microsoft on their journey to enable people like me to leverage technology to have their best lives, hopefully with a lot less struggle than I had to endure. All right, so we're here to talk about the Surface Adaptive Kit. It's been quite a journey. So I'm able to open it up. I can use the lid that instantly pulls all the cards out right away. Okay, you can apply these stickers to your keyboard. It's raised so you can feel it, but also it's high contrast. And the different shapes makes them very distinguishable from one another. Yeah, taking you down to the keycap labels. So the keycap labels are really designed for someone who is blind. They fit perfectly on the Surface keyboards. The port labels are used for taking um, a label and applying it to oh, okay, a cable yeah. and then applying the corresponding port tab onto the device and it just fits seamlessly into the device. And then this tab is a lanyard tab. We've attached it to the kickstand so that this can be easily pulled out with the lanyard and you're ready to go. That's much more elegant than using a fork. Exactly. So when you're designing for products for someone like me today, we're actually building for our future selves. We're all gonna lose our ability at some point. None of us can predict when that will happen, but when it does, 
I'm really glad that we're gonna have products and accessories that people can use whenever and whatever they might need. Today, we are incredibly excited to introduce you to the next generation of Surface Duo. This is Surface Duo 2, mobile productivity powered by two screens. Our team of incredible product makers at Surface obsess over every aspect of hardware and software design. Our team of engineers have partnered closely with Qualcomm to build an incredibly fast and powerful dual screen device. All of this in a product that has been meticulously crafted to become the world's thinnest 5G device you'll find two beautiful PixelSense Fusion displays that expand to an even larger 8.3-inch display with high refresh rate of 90 Hz perfectly synchronized across both displays to make sure that your Surface Slim Pen is always with you and charged. We're introducing Microsoft Surface Duo 2 Pen Cover. Beautiful and subtle light glows show you incoming calls, incoming messages, and even show you how much battery you have left. And our custom-built camera app will launch across both displays, giving you an instant preview of the shot that you just took so that your next shot is even better. We placed all editing controls on the left screen so that you can see the changes to the photo without covering it up. In partnership with Gameloft, we are today announcing three standalone games which are completely optimized for Surface Duo. Asphalt Legends 9, Modern Combat 5, and Dungeon Hunter 5. The newly redesigned Your Phone app puts my Surface Duo notifications front and center. I can use all my Android apps from my phone directly on my PC. I can copy paste content from my phone into my apps on Windows 11. With Surface Laptop Studio, we built on the heritage of both Surface Book and Surface Studio. Okay, take a look at the product. There's a couple of things to think about. The hardware, I mean, Windows 11, all of it kind of centers around you. When you get in, it's unbelievably fast. Instant on, Windows Hello 2.0, just logs you in. 14.4 inch pixel sense display. It is a laptop, so it has to type incredibly well. And I think this is the best keyboard I've put my hands on. And it sounds amazing, it feels amazing, the sound matters. And then the trackpad itself is so precise, it's, it is our first haptic trackpad. Now, I'm gonna show you stage mode, but look how easy it is. Like anything, when you pull it towards you, and then so quickly and so smooth, you just fold it down. The pen is underneath, I'll pull it out. It's charging, never gets lost, always available. You basically bring it back up from studio mode into laptop mode, and you're back into the form that you're so familiar with every day. I have to tell you, this product is a powerhouse. It's the combination of desktop-level CPU of Intel's 11th Gen quad-core processor and NVIDIA's RTX 3050 Ti GPU. They come together, giving you power needed for whatever you want to create. This display is 120 hertz, and it's smoother than any other laptop I've used before. And this glass precision touchpad, it, it feels great. You know, it's the right size, it's really responsive. I change the haptic feedback the way I like it. So it feels really cool to click. My desktop can build ASP.NET from source in about a minute 45. Laptop Studio does it in a minute 15. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and a super fast SSD. Something I love doing when I'm docked is to put the Laptop Studio into stage mode. This way I can make the most of it. It's come closer to me and it's very natural for me to be coding on my displays and then using my thumb to scroll through a web page that I'm referring to on Laptop Studio. I'm gonna do something non-typical. I'm gonna edit video with a pen. I'm gonna move the screen down into studio mode. And look, the Windows 11 UI changes. And here in Premiere Pro Beta, it changes too. It's aware, it knows. Now I can use the slim head to move the playhead around. Here's Forza Horizon 5 running at 60 frames a second locally on high settings. Thank you all so very much.